subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel finally it has arrived to the channel the samsung galaxy note 9 and i got the 512 gig you can see off to the left just samsung galaxy note 9 label we have nothing at the top off to the right there's nothing on the box and on the rear we do have what is included in the package including the galaxy note 9 obviously the s pen the wall and usb c charger stereo headset a usb connector some warranty papers terms and conditions scrolling down you could just see some fcc stuff and some other things we don't care to read about this box basically looks like every other samsung box before it just changes the front and puts a pen on there which is kind of unique to the color you get this one is the blue model so you get that gold pen also if you pre-order this right now you can get the akg n60 nc wireless headphones which is the one i would choose if i was you because you can go ahead and pair this with your note 9 on your commute whether you're on a plane train urban environment and you have a pretty good noise cancellation set of headphones here they are rated at 15 hours which is not industry leading on these headphones but if you want to see more about these let me know down below let's get into the good stuff now the samsung galaxy note 9 ocean blue yes i had to go with the blue one and i thought it was going to be the same color as the Galaxy S9 Plus, but it's not. It's actually a deeper blue, as you're gonna see in just a minute here, but the Galaxy Note 9 further in the box, you can see that we do have ourselves some warranty information, terms and conditions, stuff like this included right in here, which we'll definitely read later. You know when, if you've been on the channel before. Quick reference guide, if you are you know, not knowing how to use your Samsung device, this could help you out a little bit to get started with Samsung account and stuff like that. And here's the phone, taking that plastic off, take a look at this color, isn't it a beauty? Definitely if you're gonna pay a thousand dollars for a phone, this is how you do it, you make a shiny, beautiful object that definitely screams premium when you do look at it so if you're not gonna change the design from the note 8 at least they definitely put a really shiny color here you do have a fingerprint scanner below the camera with that dual variable aperture camera we're gonna see how that works out probably the same as a galaxy s9 plus and down here you can see that we do have ourselves that gold or yellow s pen headphone jack usb c and some people are saying that this s pen is not great looking i'm gonna have to look at it a little bit more in detail and see how i like it in terms of the color but people are also saying writing on the action memo like from the lock screen you do have you know yellow text in the samsung notes on white screen which you can't really read we'll look at that a little bit further but rest is in the box is you get a usb-c connector you also get yourself an adaptive fast charger which is nice to see we also have akg headphones these are just headphone jack headphones and then you have some more s pen tips if you need to replace these included right in the box and some extra earbuds for those headphones if your ears don't fit right out of the box and another usb cable to go along with that adaptive fast charger starting it up it's simple as ever just like any other samsung we're just going to skip through the wi-fi really quickly agree to the terms and conditions and you're going to type we're going to type in our name really quickly here and then you can protect your phone in like five different ways it's really up to you face scan iris scan fingerprint whatever you want then google asks you about your information then we have the samsung account and then we're going to go ahead and finish up here and get into the samsung galaxy note 9 6.4 inch super amoled display the best rated smartphone display ever this seems to always happen every time a new phone comes out next month the iphone 10 plus will probably be the best rated smartphone display ever as every single phone seems to bounce back and forth android 8.1 and samsung 9.5 out of the gate so no android pie but i'm sure samsung's working hard to get that software pushed to their latest device as soon as possible and you can see just snapping a quick photo the software looks very similar if not identical to the galaxy s9 plus which is not a bad thing hopefully they fix that sensitivity where you would accidentally slide over though but you can see really crisp photo right out of the gate so it's going to be a nice camera i really can't wait to really take it out and test it in low light as well as taste test the hdr test the 4k 60 and more but you can see when you are writing from the lock screen you now have the same color as your s pen in this case the yellow so definitely a nice look a nice touch it definitely is consistent with the color of the pen but we're gonna have to see if it's really hard to read that in the white screen like many are claiming that it is but overall i think it definitely complements this phone very well based on my first impressions and you do get the same note features that you got before on the galaxy note 8 the live message translate you do have screen write, you know pen up community all that stuff is still here so i'm pretty sure 
This S Pen experience is again going to be the best one you've ever had on a Galaxy Note series. This one having a remote control for taking selfies and stuff like that. I did get the 512 gig. I haven't installed anything. You can see 463 0.3 gigs available. So TouchWiz does take up quite a bit of space here. You can call it the Samsung Experience version if you don't prefer TouchWiz. And if you add a micro SD card, you can expand this thing up to one terabyte. I don't need that much storage, so I just picked up a 256 gig Evo card, and I'm going up to around 700 gigs, which is probably still overkill, but it's nice to have that. Now, the Note 9 feels like a square in the hand, just like the Note 8 did before. Taking a look at it next to an S8 Plus, some common flagships, you can see the S8 Plus is quite a handful as well, but it's definitely more narrow, more infinity display, if you will, and skinnier and not as tall as the Note 9, so it's gonna be more compact to hold like an S series device over this. The Note 8 actually looks identical almost to the Note 9. It's actually, I think, a little bit taller, but less wide, a little bit more compact side to side. But the Note 8 and the Note 9, we're gonna do a full comparison and get down to the nitty gritty, down to the details. But on first impressions, the Note 9 and the Note 8 feel like the same phone, actually. The iPhone 10 though, is definitely a small boy compared to the Note 9. If you're paying $1,000, you know, I would rather get the bigger phone. But the iPhone 10 is gonna be upgraded to a 10 plus. We all know this, bigger phone, so Samsung doesn't hold this for long, this advantage. Now, the OnePlus 6, the budget king basically of Android, is a pretty wide, but still a little more sleeker design than the Note 9, so it's gonna feel more compact in the hand. The Note 9 definitely is that big smartphone and still has the edge over most of its competition in terms of being the biggest phone on the block, but it's more square, I think, for writing. So this is why you have an S Pen, and this is why I think it's more square, is so you can go ahead and get a little bit more space for writing. So overall, that's the Note 9. My unboxings and first impressions. I am already seeing super fast performance out of the box. That is pretty common amongst all Samsung phones. We're gonna have to see how that holds up over time. But with eight gigs of RAM, the Snapdragon 845, this thing should just scream. I know a lot of people are excited for Samsung's redesign, but this refinement to the Note series is gonna make for a really long lasting and very high quality smartphone. So it's got me excited for what's under the hood. I'm not too blown away by the design because I'm coming from a Note 8, but if you're coming from a Note 5, this is a massive upgrade. Or if you're coming from a Note before it, Note 4 maybe, there's another huge upgrade right here. And or if anybody who wants tons of storage for storing games or just a ton of videos, if you edit on your phone, this can be a beast for you.